I didn't think I wanted to be a scientist. My undergraduate thesis advisor encouraged me to go get a PhD, and I kept telling him I had no interest in that, that I, I wanted to go do things, not study things. But after I completed my master's degree and had spent several years working, I found that my intellectual curiosity just kept pushing me to want to understand why things worked the way they did and how we could design a better intervention. I'm a professor of applied economics at Cornell University in the United States. I've been at Cornell for a bit over 23 years now. My prior appointment was on faculty at Utah State University. I did a dual PhD in economics and in agricultural economics at the University of Wisconsin at Madison, having previously done degrees at Princeton University and the University of Oxford. My career is focused primarily on the economic development processes, and in particular on the escape from poverty and malnutrition of agrarian populations in low-income areas of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. The most important moments of my career have been when you see something change as a result of your efforts. And that can be the graduation and success of former students and collaborators. One of my former students, Andrew Mude, a brilliant young Kenyan economist, won the Borlaug Prize for the, the top agricultural scientist under age 40. I was just immensely proud of Andrew and all he's accomplished and all his promise. Uh, that's certainly one of the highlights of my career. But also when you see your, your insights suddenly taking root and being used by others to help in the development process, like when Ibli got scaled up into CLIP by the Kenyan government, or prior work I've done on helping to revise the way in which we, we mount and deliver international food aid in response to emergencies, that helped lead to a variety of, of government policy changes here in the United States and to a lesser degree in Canada and, and the UN system. And seeing governments enact those sorts of policy changes informed in part by research to which you've contributed is just enormously satisfying. In my current work, we continue to try to refine the Ibli design and to help adapt it to other contexts but I've increasingly begun working on transforming agri-food systems globally, especially how to adapt technology development and technology diffusion to make it more accessible to a broader range of small producers and to add more value for traditionally underrepresented and undercompensated people throughout agri-food value chains. So helping to develop better incentive systems to induce high quality R&D to attend to global poverty questions is one of my other big preoccupations right now.